Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead by Snowman Abs. And for today, this is going to be a build that is, in my opinion, going to be Knight's best build once the mid-chapter drops. So the thing about the mid-chapter, I don't think the devs are going to make everything live on how they are, or at least I hope not, because right now the PTB is dead. I'm not playing it because I just cannot find a match. It takes 30 to 40 minutes. And I, right here in L, uh, LA, right here in NA, there's only 16 people on the PTB and all of them are killers. So there's no point in trying to use this build actually during the PTB. But this build has already been doing pretty wonders. You can see in the match, this build has been doing really great in the current state of Dead by Daylight. So once healing, again, I hope healing does not get shafted to how it is. Hopefully it's still going to be a little bit, you know, lenient on the survivor side. And if so, this build will still do wonders. So let's get into the build. So the first one, we have Lethal Pursuer. This perk is extremely crucial on night. And with the add-on pairs that I have, and I will show you in a second after I go over the perks. So think about Lethal Pursuer. You see all the survivors aura uh, at the start of the match for 9 seconds. You have anything that's aura reading, it bumps it up by 2 seconds. Unfortunately, I don't have anything in this build that's aura reading, but that is completely fine. This perk on its own will give you a really quick pressure for Knight. Okay, so here's the thing about Knight. How I play him and how I make the best use out of this character is that you are, you're going to be 60% multitasking with this killer's power, and you're going to be 40% isolating slash anti-loop. So what I mean by this, anytime the survivors are not, or like anytime you're not in a chase, or like a, sometimes even if you're in a chase, but let's say the survivor's running to like a corner, you can quickly just use your power and snipe someone with it. You're going to be trying to get, you're trying to catch survivors off guard, that are on a generator or maybe healing after an unhook you're gonna see in the matches it's kind of hard to explain we're gonna see in the matches i pretty much did it perfectly and i got like amazing results and yeah and once you see everyone leave the pursuer so you're gonna find the first person pick whatever one you uh you choose i recommend the first person that probably jumps on a generator or is slowly walking towards you if a survivor is slowly walking towards you you're gonna go into the direction use your power and you're going to use your power to snipe any other survivor that's on a gen within the radius of what this add-on allows, okay? And then, let's say if you eventually do down a survivor, first you're going to be able to hit them, right? Hopefully you hit them with, with your main attack or your uh, basic attack, so you can put Sloppy Butcher on them. This is going to give them Mangled and Hemorrhage, and Hemorrhage gets increased by 25% because of this perk. Mangled, where it takes 25% longer to heal... It's going to hit when the mid-chapter comes out. So this, okay, Sloppy Butcher, in my opinion, is going to be a meta perk for M1 killers. It's just going to be insane. And then Hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is, again, because of the, uh, the healing changes, healing takes a little bit, uh, it takes longer for it to fully heal another survivor. So Hemorrhage is probably going to be one of the best status effects in the entire game because of this. And what Hemorrhage does is that if survivors are healing, if they get disrupted, the healing bar regresses all the way down until they, re until they go back to healing. And then we have Jolt. So again, when you actually down a survivor, all the gens are going to explode. This is when you're going to, oh, I guess within your area that are being worked on or have progress. So once you down a survivor, let's say you see like two Jolts or maybe just one Jolt go off. Before you pick up the survivor, you're going to use your, you're going to use your power. You're going to put that guard on top of the generator that just exploded. And there's a really high chance that you're going to snipe someone off that generator. And it could be a possible early hit on them with the guard and that's the case after you hook the after you hook the survivor you can go over to them uh while you're over at that person and let's say if you if you down them good if you know someone is going for the save you can use your power uh the thing about night is that when you're afk and your power you have 10 seconds before it kicks you out so if you see someone going for the save a really good strat you can do is put uh is use your power put the guard at the hook and sit there afk until the person gets rescued so once you, uh, once the person gets rescued, you hear the sound effect of them getting off the hook. You're going to activate, uh, you're going to let go of the patrol path, set a guard right on top of that hook, and it's going to chase either the person that just got unhooked or hopefully the person that went for the save. And then while this is happening, you're just going to put and hook the other person. And again, let's say if that second person you just down, a jolt goes off, uh, you probably want to quickly snipe someone off the gen first. Remember, this killer is, in my opinion, probably the best at multitasking. And once you actually do it aggressively, you get amazing results with this build. And then we have Deadlock. Uh, okay, so the reason why I'm running Deadlock other than Corrupt Intervention is because <clears throat> Lethal Pursuer is going to be kind of redundant in that nature. 
And I think Deadlock is just a lot better for Knight being a multitasker. Because again, you, you want to catch people off of generators. You don't want the survivors just walking slowly towards your 4-gen uh, perimeter. Because not only you're not getting much use out of Lethal Pursuer, you're not really going to get any snipe or multitasking uh, efficiency if you did not have corrupt intervention. So I recommend Deadlock for a killer like Knight. What Deadlock does is that after generator is repaired, the entity blocks generator the most progress for 30 seconds. This is also good with his power. Again, with the add-on combination, I will get into that. Uh, once you see a, a gen that's blocked, with that's white, that means it's hit by Deadlock. So what you're going to do when that gen, Deadlock gives you a timer of when the gen is going to become unblocked so the survivor can work on them. Uh, like I would say like give it like a good five seconds after Deadlock uh, disables on the generator. Then you're going to send a guard towards that generator and there's a really high chance you're going to snipe a survivor on there that was just waiting for Deadlock to expire. And then we're going to go on to the add-ons. Okay, most important add-on you're going to run no matter what for this build. Or from in my opinion any good knight build is going to be call to arms if you're doing really aggressive multitasking uh this is like his best add-on so what this does it increases the length of a patrol path by 10 meters and the path movement speed is increased by 25 percent you feel both of these and the thing about knight's uh recent buff uh like uh i actually like i think three months ago yeah already uh <clears throat> his patrol path after 10 meters starts becoming invisible and since you move 25 percent quicker this is pretty much going to disappear in the survivor's end really quickly if you're immediately going for a snipe so what you can do i also did it in the video let's say if you're chasing a survivor again a survivor has eye shot of you they can see you while you're chasing a survivor let's say if they're like in a corner you can like put a patrol path down and then you can make it look like you're navigating towards the person you're chasing but actually do like a nascar loop around and snipe the generator and since the survivor's in the corner they're not they can't really do anything and if they are in a corner it's probably a really bad loop that they're in and the good thing is and because you move 25 percent quicker you could do this really quickly so if the survivor that you're chasing actually like hold w's away you will still be able to catch up to them and again from the night buff you move five percent quicker when you pretty much snipe someone with this add-on because you're using the entire patrol path and then this add-on i think uh, for this add-on slot, I should say, it can really be anything. Like, this aggressive uh, multitasking build works with, like, so many add-ons. I think the best one I get is Map of Realm. Increases the detection range for guards on patrol by 4 meters. It sounds so little, but there are times where I have not been running this add-on. And, like, the guard, you can spawn them on top of a survivor, and they just won't see them. Because the guard, when it spawns in, its patrol circle is zero and then it expands when it's four meters it expands four meters by default then it expands instead of zero so this it actually makes it where if a guard is face to face with a survivor or even if the survivor sprints away immediately even if they have sprint burst this four meters will catch up to them uh i uh second if i recommend something it would be assassin with the treated blade this gives you two assassins or a tie for the the manacles this gives you two jailers and the aggressive multitasking Carnifix, you're not going to want as much. You're going to want to use Carnifix to either break pallets or revenate buildings or walls or even a killer shack if you're at Dead Dog Salon or uh, Saloon. Uh, you're going to want Assassin to deep wound people. So if you actually snipe someone the Assassin, they can't immediately go on a generator or really high place survivors you're going to see in the match. They try to body block in this deep wound. Um, if they body block, they're going to get hit by deep wound. And Jailer is as good because Jailer has the biggest detection radius. So there's almost like a guaranteed Jailer is going to see someone. And that's what you want. You want your multitask to be efficient for you while it's making the survivors horse around with your power, right? And then the next one I would say is a, almost like a complete tie of the Assassin and Jailer. The healing of uh, Putis. The Putis. I don't remember how this is pronounced. But so if you're sniping someone with the Assassin... This will make all survivors within 25 meters from the guard's initial position to scream and reveal their current location. If you were sniping someone who just got unhooked, or if you're doing that AFK strat, I said, if survivors, if all the survivors scream, they're going to stop the healing immediately. And if survivors are around there, like self-carrying around or something, it will disrupt them. They'll make them scream. And that tiny bit of them screaming will actually reduce because of hemorrhage 25% quicker because of sloppy butcher. And this is also good. If you sniped someone a generator, everyone screams. Uh, within 24 meters so you know if one person or two people are on that generator if two people are if you have nothing better to do with your time it could be good going back to that area to get the second person who was hit by the scream 
And then we have Lightweight Greaves. This is a Jailer one where after summoning the Jailer, the Knight's movement speed increases by 10% for 6 seconds. This is really good if you're doing, if you're going to be really aggressive with the multitasking I said before, that's when you're kind of chasing a survivor. But once they go to a corner, if you notice the survivors in a gen nearby, you can use the Jailer to snipe them. It'll be even easier with the Jailer. And you don't have to be incredibly close to the generator, so you can kind of cancel your your patrol path early so the person that you're chasing does not just dash off, like I said before. But if even if they do, you get 10%, so you're going to be up on them immediately. And you're going to get the plus 5% as well because the knife's buff. I still don't know if this stacks. I think it might because it feels like it does. So you're going to be moving 15%. Even if the survivor stayed in a loop, you're probably going to catch him. 15% in movement speed is literally no joke. If 5% isn't, 15% is definitely not a joke. And yeah, I would say maybe this one. This makes it where if uh, if you... Pretty much you get like a Blood Warden effect when you get a survivor at an Exegate where the Exegates will become blocked. But it's only for the Hunted Survivor. And if they Vault Windows, that location is blocked for all survivors for the duration of the hunt. That's pretty good. But the only problem I have with this is that while creating a patrol path, passing through vault locations will block these locations for 15 seconds. So if survivors are really observant, which really good survivors are, if they notice a window's blocked while you're getting there, that could be pretty bad. But I still think this add-on could be really good. Uh, because including, because of what you're going to see, including in this uh, in this match, you're going to see a lot of survivors where I was able to snipe them. The guards actually caught up to them really quickly, but they'll keep running to like a Z wall or like just any wall loop and they'll just keep vaulting the window over and over again because the guards although they uh they materialize through windows uh and uh and pallets they're actually slowed when they do it so the survivor can keep abusing it over and over again and being chased by a guard does not count as being chased so the window won't block from survivors vaulting three times so yeah this could be really good but if i had to say i would say this one and then the second most one should be the assassin or jailer one third one would be this one and fourth uh, would be this, and then fifth would be that one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the match and enjoyed the gameplay. And please like if you enjoyed as well, right? Oh, Dead Dog Salami, really? This is going to be pretty good then, because this map is really good for night. Including if you're in the three-gen strat, but that strat's going to be dead. So we're going to be playing the new and improved build. Yeah, I already knew like all, all four of them were going to spawn over here. That's in the Sloppy Butcher hit immediately. No sprint burst, even if he did. I see that person right there. You think they're watching us around the corner? Oh, it looks like they were, yeah. You can run Killer Shack or this horrible, horrible loop. Yeah, I figured. If you actually throw this down, yeah, I knew you wouldn't. This is by the way, uh quick tip. This killer shack is actually the best killer shack in the entire game until you break the wall. Because this killer shack is actually bigger. I don't know where the hell she's going. Oh man, that's fine. Oh wait, hold on a second. Uh, something you can do on this map is night. He's not even following the thing. What? Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? There you go. You can you can see people up there with the assassin and jailer. That should be able to see him. There we go. That's going to hit someone. That's going to get a hit. Oh, wait. Who is that chasing? Move it like that so it goes all the way around. Nice. This person ran right past me. She's going up there. She does not know we're going around. Unless she hears a huge stomping. Hopefully not. We need a jolt here, Ada. Oh. Oh, no. She knew we were bluffing. Oh, she's not. Oh, that's actually a really bad spot for you, lady. Make this look like it's chasing her, but it's actually going to go all the way up here and see her. I don't know if that sees her. <clears throat> oh, that should have saw you. We need to get this Ada, though. Nice. Where are you? Oh, my God. I can't even hear you in there. Nice. Ooh. Whoa. I think I hit that person, and they uh, threw down a pallet, too. That's really good. Okay. We don't have Scorch Hook, so we're going to put her on the closest hook. I think this is the best hook right here, yeah. Joel is still eating that generator, so they never tapped it. Okay. Should we send an assassin over to that generator? The one up there. No, actually, over this one. Uh, Call of Arms lets you do stuff like that. Like, you go there so quickly, and the patrol path ends a lot quickly as well. Yeah, see that? If that gen up there does not get done, we're going to send the jailer over there. Nice. Really good dead hard. 
I don't think that Jen gets... Oh, it might, actually. Come on, Jailer. You should see her up there. Not her. Yes, I think it... I... I thought... Are you goddamn shitting me? <laughs> what the hell was that play? That was an amazing play, though. You feel like you're... Oh, my God. It feels like you're moving quicker. Okay, no over there. Okay, this gen is definitely not going to get done as quickly as this person hoped it would. <laughs> They're healing over there. Wait, wait. You think I can... You think I can make it... You think I can bluff this? Watch. Ready? Really? That one got done. That should work. Oh, they healed, though. Oh, after Adam, yeah. You're going to let this old meaty guy hit you? That was a dumb play, I think. I think that was really dumb. So they got that far gen completed. You don't want the guards to hit you. You don't make that. You got dead hard. I'm gonna be surprised. I'll eat it. Yeah, you just have it. Nice. Go like that. It sounds like he's... Oh, he was running the killer shack. That's perfect, actually. I see him. He's running to the... He's running straight, I think. No, he's not. I didn't even see him go that way. Oh, he's gonna get down for sure. The assassin's 110. That is still getting hit. That is still sparking. That's really good. That means the jolt that hit that is still destroying it. Oh, they got the middle gen done. I thought that was the one that went off. All right. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> this jailer 100% is going to see someone up there. Use all of the patrol paths so the jailer, when it sees someone, it immediately goes on a hit. Yeah, it immediately initiates chase. Oh, they're going to try to get this done. That was a huge blunder. Oh. What the hell are you guys all doing? I, I, you see how I did not hold myself right there? Hey. You're gonna go to this one, uh. Keep going? Yeah. You got dead hard though. Let's eat it. Now I'm gonna have to eat that sucker. Uh the person's still up there. Hold on. You think they're gonna heal over there? Hold on. Oh god, come on. Oh no! I wanted to use my thingy over there. Oh. Oh yeah, they actually were healing over there, so that is gonna disrupt them. And Sloppy Butcher means they're not gonna be able to finish the heal. That's what's so good about Sloppy Butcher on night right now. And once the new healing patch comes out, it'll be even better. <laughs> it looks like he's looping the window back and forth. He's about to get hit. Okay. All right, now we can go after you. Ooh. Oh, hey. Okay, peek around the corner to see if she's playing or not, so I know when to put a guard down. You do make that. Smart, actually. Really smart. Main boning now? Yeah. Wait, where did she go? What was that? That was a diversion. That was a diversion play. That was diversion. 100% diversion. Ooh, I don't think I get that in time. If it was the old, if it was the PTB update, I would have gotten that. I actually did get it, I think. Hey. I think she expects me to just wait out the dead hard. You're gonna go for the window? Oh, you should have went for the window. I would have. You don't make it. Dead hard? No. <laughs> Now, we're going to put this jailer in the most popular traffic route I think they're going to go if they're going to try to hook that or try to pick up the other person. Yep, like right there. So he cannot go for the pickup. <clears throat> Best thing you can do as Knight, just in case if I don't say in the intro, is to multitask. You only want to use his power to multitask and when the survivor is caught out in the open. That was a really dumb play. You gave me a sloppy butcher hit from this. <clears throat> One thing you can do as Knight. Ready? You have 10 seconds before you get kicked out, so you can do this. Like that. So, because if a, if a guard's in a chase with someone, uh, dead hard. No, you're actually going to use that pallet. That's a middle pallet, though. Oh, that was not smart. Uh, someone else is right here, it sounds like. I will hit you. Sloppy butcher hit. What was I saying? I completely forgot. I got off topic. He's going to try to peep to the stairs. Yeah, I knew it. Nice. That chain is getting eaten to smithereens. So it kicks you out of 10 seconds, but if a guard is actually chasing a survivor, that guard will despawn if the survivor hits the unhook. <clears throat> that's gonna that probably will kill someone. That's an assassin. It actually did. Wait, 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 wait. I can do it again. Oh, don't fall into the bar. Come on. I'm not running the I'm not running the beer ad on night. 
Just do it again. Like, multitask. Now they can't go for the pickup. So I am... This is... They're all over there. Because we saw Ada when we were putting our power down. So all three of them are over there. So Ada's gonna pick that person up. Oh, yeah. If you're getting chased by a guard, even though she... Uh, even though she vaulted that, do not vault something that's up in the air. Because the guards will walk through the window and drop like a rock like right on top of you but she got lucky right there because i think i saw the guard it like got stuck on something if it did not get stuck it would have destroyed that where are you oh you're actually wait you are what are you doing she's up there uh i think that's a really bad idea this is an assassin it saw her through the thing i didn't even know that can happen dude she dead hearted but she did not even see i was right here here so they're at the hook, right? Okay, maybe not. Okay, no, I didn't hear anyone over there. Where are you? Adam has a flashlight. Remember that. Data does as well. I did not notice that. What I could have done, I should have just dropped the... I should have dropped him right next to me. Oh my god. All right. Well, good luck. Oh, dude, he's getting caught and everything. That's not good. <laughs> Why are you so slow? Nice. Down the two gens though, that's completely fine. Like I think they're I think they're doing really good right now on gens right now. Because I, I I've been multitasking so well and they must be off guard all the time. Like I'm catching them off guard. Is that another diversion? It's kind of elevated, it might be. That was a diversion. So you know what he did? He was he was yeah, he was up there. That's what happened. He diverted up there. That's why it was elevated. That's how diversion works. Where's this guy? Oh, he just left. Just left. Is he gonna pre drop? Is he gonna pre? So we saw that one got blocked. So. He's actually taking us over here. That's really good. We're gonna be on this side so he doesn't have access to the window. Okay, well. <laughs> I tried. I was gonna do this. It doesn't sound like he's on that. No one. It doesn't sound like no one was on that. Uh, he does have Dead Heart. I kinda wanna eat it. Yeah, nice. Window. No. You think he'll run right into me? Okay, let's vault this to make it look it's obvious that I'm, you know. Actually, no. We can bring this all the way around. He dropped. That's a jailer, though. That's got to see him, right? Yeah. Jailer has such a huge radius. He's going to be running, probably. He's going to try to hug it to the right. Really? That got done? He's going to run into the banner. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, he doesn't hear or see that, which is good. <clears throat> Ooh, that's really bad. Oh, dude, you guys think I'm throwing this match or what? I might be. That's really good. That's going to be chasing them for a while. That's another diversion play, 100%. Yeah, it's diversion. So he was around back here. You're around back here. <clears throat> you think that Jen's getting done? Probably. Adam's right here. I hear him. Where is the guard at? The guard's got to be miles away. The guard's got to be miles away. Oh. Wait, wait. Run a little bit out? Okay. I was hoping I could get a jolt on that one over there. Probably not, though. Someone looks like someone's running over here. This is going to be the assassin. Adam's right there. I kind of want to... I need to get a down there or something. Nice. Dead art again? No. All right. Now we can be perfectly fine knowing that no one's going to be doing that generator. Uh, send this one back to Killer Shack. Yeah, she's being healed. You can hear that. Always multitask when you know you're in range of doing something about your power. Always do it. Wait, I think... Oh, she took the hit. That's why it stopped. Okay. Yeah, that was smart. I'm taking the hit. Uh, use Carnifix to break this. I'd rather have an assassin or a jailer on at all times if I can. I think she saw me mind game. It looks so obvious. Oh my god. Maybe not. We're going to do the same thing again that I did before. You ready? <clears throat> there you go. Oh, I think she's baiting it. Oh, she actually... What? Wait, why? Adam was right on the hook. Why did it target him? Oh, that was weird. It actually got the hit off of him, though. Like, he's deep wounded now. Yeah, that's why I want Assassin on all times to deep wound if it hits and it's easier to hit. And I want Jailer because the immense range. Uh, person's right there, Ada. Ja I was about to say, Jailer did not see her. 
I knew it. Nice dead hard. I'm going to try to eat as many as I can because I want to show you guys this build is actually no joke that these survivors can have four health states and I'll be doing so well with them. Nice. Dude, this guy's right here. <laughs> Good luck. If you want to try it. Again, we can waste the Carnifix for that. So now we have an assassin right now. You see her in the middle of the road right there. <laughs> hey. Honing in a sprint burst. Or a poke. Don't know. Breath. I have no idea what she was trying to do right there. Hold on. You think this guy's gonna try to flashlight save up there? I think he might here. Let's try to give him that opportunity. Maybe he'll fall for it. No, he didn't even try it. Well, this is looking like GG's for me. I mean and for this team. I, I ate like every single dead heart I could. I think I I think I only avoided one. There. Yeah. Nice. And I think I think I played as fair as I could. I might have actually hooked someone before, you know. Okay, this guy's just gonna run inside here. It sounds like he's not even going up there. It sounds like he's going all the way to the going yeah, all the way around. I don't think there's a fixed hatch spawn right now. Oh, it's right there. That was really lucky. Nice. He probably saw that from a mile away. Yeah, I like I think this build is really good. Uh deadlock makes it deadlock makes it where I know which next gen I should be, you know, uh Kind of multitasking with my guards uh, periodically. I like those perks that those people have. I think they're also prepping for the new uh, healing changes where they're running autodidact. 